it is that time to say goodbye. What are we saying goodbye to? Well, we are saying goodbye to my six year old Mario 3 Warpless world record. Is it six years old? I got the world record for Mario 3 Warpless. I think it was a 50-55. I had beat Karua. It was my first sub 51. I've had it all the way until about a week ago, right? I would increase the record. I beat my time, beat my time, and I brought it all the way down to a 50 minute and 10 second run. So it is time to finally say goodbye to that record. My heart is broken, okay? That run validated me. I was nothing without it. And now I'm nothing altogether. But all jokes aside, I actually brought Narfman on with me today, and we are actually gonna dive deep into the mind of somebody who doesn't stream full time like me, who doesn't have a professional background in speed running Mario 3. He hasn't been doing it for 13 years like I have, and he beat me. We're gonna dive in and see the mental strides that he went through and what he needed to overcome to use what little time he had. I mean, this is a family man here. Buckle up, Buckaroo. It's time to get into the mind of Narfman and his world record 50 minutes and seven seconds uh let's take a look let's talk with Narfman welcome Narfman how are you doing today yo much flower power thanks for having me yeah I'm doing really well how are you uh I'm doing pretty good except for the fact that I've lost my world record <laughs> I'm sorry Mitch that must okay. be so hard <laughs> it's so hard so one of the first questions I want to ask you is uh how does it feel like have you ever had a world record before in any game so not nearly as competitive as smb3 so i do a lot of smb3 kaizo as well right right and that's right you do it was partially in playing those that there, there are a few people on those and some of those folks are really good and kaizo is pretty hard so there was definitely some satisfaction getting world records there but this amount of effort and energy and all that for smb3 the player base is much larger the run is a lot longer right. there's a lot more facets to it so i feel a lot different a lot more proud of this one i think right and you should so before it was at 50 minutes and 10 seconds and what time did you get i got a 5007 50 minutes and seven seconds so beat it about three three and a half seconds right yep yeah uh, no that's 7.3 <laughs> now what's <laughs> now what's really interesting is so you beat the world record by three seconds how much did you beat your personal best by i think that was about 20 seconds juicy so during your grind when you pb by that amount of time and your last pb also had no hands uh actually no the last ah, pb okay, okay. did have one hand yeah Man. that was a weird one it sucks when you have a really low PB and like how to do better relies on getting no hands. Like that can be kind of frustrating. Yeah, the last time I had PB'd with a hand was in the 52 range. Oh and once God. I started getting 51s, I thought, no way, no way am I going to PB again with a hand. I'm just done with that. Lots of little incremental PBs. Were you hard on resets? I was not. And it's been fun to compare and contrast. And actually, that's part of what I think inspired me to push a little harder earlier game. I'm watching folks like Kudo and I'm watching folks like Lane Rayner and they're pretty reset. I mean, Lane is super duper reset heavy. Right. And I thought, hey, I'm pretty much right there. So I thought I, I do need to tighten up my early game. I need to stop letting these junk runs get by. I would continue runs when I got a world three runaway, bro. Take a death and lose about 12 seconds. I keep those going. <laughs> I, I understand the mentality, right? I mean, we just glossed over the fact that you, you had a hand in your PB. So in your mind, losing 10 seconds means means you're still 10 seconds ahead if you get no hands, technically, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It took me a long time in my speedrunning career to understand sometimes it's good to take those little victories. When I was much younger in speedrunning, I would reset heavy and heavy and heavy. I would get one PB every like 10 months and it would be like like how zero was. Like it was like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It's really big ones. It's fun. It's motivational to get little tiny PBs. You have little fun stories. Sometimes I might do little funny shenanigans like, hey, let's go for 7-7 seven, seven in Warpless because I'll ever PB with that. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you did mention ROM hacks and Kaizos and speedrunning. I've actually dabbled in a lot of that myself. And I honestly believe that taking some time out and getting comfortable and good at Kaizos can also slightly increase your ability at speedrunning the vanilla games. What do you feel about that? 
Absolutely. I remember when I first started, a lot of folks would say, hey, focus on Mario's movement. Just controlling your dude outside of the context of a speed run, outside of these specific levels, right. you need to really be natural with his movement. And right. that kind of stuck with me. In addition, I did reset heavy early on. And then in the middle, I drifted more toward, hey, we always have time saves at the end. I'm going to keep pushing runs through. That made it so that I felt mentally a little more loose with my early game. Well, in Kaizo, you cannot be loose anywhere. No, you that's can't. a doubt. I think playing Kaizo also encouraged me to be mindful of the precision. You have to deliver execution the whole time. Right. And I think that was good for my regular vanilla game too, to not just blow off huge sections of the game. For anyone who, at, at home who's like new to this, Mario 3 has a lot of RNG. And when you're playing at the skill level of Narthman and, and Kudo and a lot of other runners, including myself, it is very unlikely that you're gonna get to world eight, world seven in a single day. Sometimes if you're reset heavy, you won't see it for for three days or something so i try to set thresholds even though the run is dead we need to push through a run maybe once a week or so being accustomed to the late game we always have time saves in seven for example i everyone knows about mario one mario 3 doesn't really have the same kind of frame rules as mario 1 which means you know doing any level in mario 3 one frame slightly faster is extra time save so mario 3 i don't know will it end i mean that we'll have barriers but will it end right i'd be shocked if we see even just 7-7 seven, seven and 6-F3. I mean, fast forward a year and someone will do it, but right. to get it all would just be staggering, shocking. Right. Right crazy i feel that the human potential is you know somebody will get a world record with door three jesus clip six four three maybe all four seven nine i could see that but to get what all four off screen wand grabs which equates to what over 10 seconds like, i mean those are yeah. our time saves they're legitimate it just won't happen you know like maybe yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah and that's that's the beauty of it it's Maybe. You can never say never with Mario 3. Speedrunning is not your full-time job like it is mine, right? No, that's correct. Uh, right. So I, I've been a programmer for a long time. And then just a couple years ago, my wife got a job and is doing an MBA. So I'm stay-at-home dad now. So right it is on. a lot more time. Right on. So we on got a family game. man here, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I've got three kids as well. So that's kind of my primary vocation, I'd say, during the day. Just that alone, to anyone in the audience, don't let the fact that some people do speedrunning as a career get in your way of your abilities I mean, you obviously enjoy it right you never you didn't put it down yeah absolutely i'd be bold and say i probably even enjoyed it a little more than the next person and continue to jump on the encouragement train i am 37 years old now and i started this in my 30s i think just about anyone can pick up a controller and figure out how to speed run the game and do just really shockingly well old kids whatever was there any point and be honest, was there any point at the start that you thought to yourself, how can I compete with somebody who does this full time? A few times, honestly. So in the beginning, especially, and yeah, it was kind of, it was a little demoralizing, but playing even just two or three hour streams, two or three times a week, I get those incremental improvements still, and it just gets more fun as time goes on. The less you're dying, the less you're making mistakes, it ju just gets more fun the faster you go. Do you find that with your limited time, it's advantageous to try and work harder on being patient and less frustrated. Yeah, so a lot of that is to what degree am I putting like very efficient time into the hobby? Oh, there's this amount of practice time, there's this amount of time for runs. Yeah, I have to kind of put certain emotions on hold or kind of like capture some of my gut instincts to complain about RNG or like imagine, you know, you have your kid or whatever and it's Thursday, it's the last time you can stream until maybe Monday. Right. And then, oh, well, you get Ronnie Runaway for the third time in a row. Well, that's a big bummer but uh you know you keep doing it and you can grow and then it's just that much more satisfactory when you do get it to when work out right? yeah when you accomplish it that's right so i want to get to like the core fundamentals of the mental state of it everyone fails at something in their life whether it be big or small when you're speed running and you haven't got a pb in seven months which is very likely in mario 3 how do you train your brain because a lot of speedrunners go through this and even non-speedrunners how do you train your brain to to be comfortable with the fact that you've failed so far for seven months. How do you overcome that mental barrier of, I've been failing for five months, should I keep going? So one approach I've had is I might take a screenshot or I might try to capture the moment of exactly when my failure came or exactly when the RNG came. <laughs> and put it and I'll in make the it... fridge and look at it every day. Okay, I'm sorry. And I make it into like a joke. And I'm like, hey, y'all, look at how much I suck. 
Right. Or, okay. this failure. or turn it into like an absurd joke of ha ha ha, look at RNG did this yet again. Isn't that so silly that we still play the game or whatever, which is like mocking the game, but also we know this is out of a tender, loving care, you know, an affection for the game. We could choose to be sad and bummed, but let's instead choose to the degree that we can. Let's choose to kind of make it a little silly thing. Like, haha, yet again, we're all in this together. You know, sharing with folks certain tough things, game or not, can be helpful to some folks as well. So yeah, that's probably my main core response. Do you find that giving up feels really good? When you're failing and you're like, oh man, if I just give up right now, I wouldn't have to worry about this and the responsibility. Like, um, do you have anything to say about people who think that's like maybe the better choice? Well, yeah, I think to the degree that that's evaluating and being aware of your own fun and your own mental state, kind of what's best for you. I think that's great. Like, you know you better than I do. I would say maybe in my contrived optimism, an approach that I've also liked is to try to end off on a good note and make some new arbitrary goal that is achievable. If that's to do some silly other clip in the future, or even a good fire kill, or just play the next level. Uh, of course, you can't do that all the time. That's silly. Sometimes you just have to shut her down. Right, um, right. But no, yeah, no, no, it, no. That, that, stop right there. That, that's actually a really, um, a really good point. There, There is lots of times where... You know, sometimes you just have to sit back and say, you know what? I didn't fail tonight, but tonight's just not my night. I'm not feeling it. You know, if when you force it, then you can sometimes start to hate it, you know? Oh, yeah. If it's not fun long term, it's probably best both for you and for your creation of the game to take a different approach. And a lot of times that looks like, hey, turn it down, shut yeah. it off. Shut her down. Do you find that streaming is vital to speed running yeah that's a good question no did streaming have anything to do with contributing to you getting a world record in a video game uh another good question um <laughs> i i think no it i have had a hard time reasoning about this mentally <laughs> i'd say right now i stream almost everything when i got the last pv offline that felt like while legit it's like i would have preferred right. to have done it in streaming but it, it's just as fine and i wish honestly i was like a little more happy to embrace that offline pvs are great too and sometimes logistically that's what you got to do and sometimes there's a level of distraction that i get i'm so bad at this i have definitely moment. distracted you during your stream one time i remember one time i came in and you were answering my question while at the same time using the wrong item in your inventory and i feel guilty no it, i yeah i fully blame myself a thousand percent <laughs> i always think it's the streamer's fault side note like i can always just not look at chat True. but i i am such an arrogant clown, Mitch. I okay. think that I'm some sort of all-knowing, omniscient god who can, like, I believe I should be able to play the game <laughs> at world record level and interact with chat like some sort of social savant. Right. But I can't do that. I'm just some human, and I have limits, and I screw that up all the time with chat right. and guess what yeah. that doesn't happen offline so i have this whole like scenario that i set up that can't be too distracting when i'm doing offline runs but it's a little distracting so there are like certain audiobooks certain music can't be new music because that's too distracting comfortable <laughs> Familiar music, that's fine. That's a really good point because I find sometimes that the full level of concentration just on Mario, you can get in your head. I've had those yeah. runs before where if I'm just focusing on the run, I've made a mistake by not getting distracted, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, I'll get mad. I'll mess up something dumb and then I'll get mad at myself and frustrated and then that doesn't manifest well either. What does it feel like from somebody else's perspective yours to have a world record at this caliber a lot of people at home might not understand the severity of the competitiveness of mario 3 how did you feel initially right after i was overwhelmed with emotions and i cried off screen way more than you saw me on screen right i, just, I haven't cried except when Aerith died in final fantasy spoilers uh and like one other time and this time those are the three times in my life I've cried. I was walking with my kids the other day with my youngest to school, and I kept saying, it's it's really nice. I'm in southeastern Virginia right now. The weather is just absolutely killer. And <laughs> I'm ex exclaiming to my children, wow, the weather, it's so nice. And it, this other thing, it's so nice. Doesn't this feel so nice? And it's not only was I, like, happy in the moment, but I think there's just this week, this couple of weeks, of like quasi world record afterglow of just hey just everything's a little better and i'll enjoy this for a bit and uh this is very interesting and cool for my body to have this permeating satisfaction for you know a long everything's time everything's brighter you succeeded in what you sought out to do well it's at the same time 
a burden has been lifted from your shoulders. It's like a type of emotion that you can't even, it's so hard to explain. Oh yeah. And then, yeah, there's that kind of goal confusion. I like to articulate my goals in some sort of like specific achievable format. And to have that gone is just like, oh, well, well now my purpose in this hobby is just gone. <laughs> in a satisfied way which is great but also then it's like well okay i guess i need to set new goals and i don't know what to believe right now a little bit of a mario existential crisis uh, i've been struggling with that for 13 years man i know exactly what you're talking about and i'm gonna tell you right now it's not gonna end you're, yeah you're not out if i just get this if i just get that i mean that's everything in my life too if i can just be this person if i can just achieve this or make this much money no it's never there it's never you're never like fully good right, right. with the yeah exactly exactly Personally, I yeah. think you should keep going. I think somebody is going to get the 49. If you don't keep going, then you know it's not going to be you. But mm -hmm. if you keep going, it could be you. You seem to have the right mentality to continue speedrunning. Do you still run? Are you are you going to keep going? Like, do you still stream and are you still doing attempts? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I've got some good time, especially before my kids are out for the summer. That should be a good month and a half. That is a great opportunity. I'm all warmed up. I practice a lot of stuff. I do have this little list of just silly time saves that I probably should never go for, but I want to practice a little bit. So I think I just keep going for a bit uh, and see what happens. Definitely for the near future. Is there a summer vacation plan this summer for the uh, for the NARF men? Yeah, so it, initially it will probably kick off with some hiking in Peru in the mountains. Uh, and then, yeah, and then I, over the summer, so kids are off. Yep. I cannot do anything Mario in the morning. Nope. So nope. I accept that. It's hard to accept y'all. It is, but hey, that's, hey. I think it's best for the kids. That's the uh, life of being a good dad. No one's going to complain. Hey, you know what? In the evenings though, I, I intend on streaming Kaizo. I have this side goal of, I want to put a single sitting run that is like a speed run of every Super Mario Brothers 3 Kaizo game. And I've added a lot of Kaizo games to the backlog this year. Wow. Y'all creators out there are doing amazing amazing job there's a there lot like six. i'll do that probably over the summer and i'm very excited about that i think that's really wholesome i think i think uh, I, you know i hope a lot of people can really take what you're saying and put that towards their own life and realize hey you know i do actually have an extra 20 minutes here to practice something i do actually have an extra hour on saturdays and then all of a sudden a year later they're competitive you know they're getting P pbs and stuff like that so do you have a stream name do you have a youtube uh, go ahead and let us know where we can find you narfman zero everywhere so on twitch.tv slash narfman zero i have the goofy super narfman with the green cape icon everywhere that i made back in something like second grade whenever i made my <laughs> username i i'm cheesy and i just have been going along with that like well it's worked well for the last few decades let's just keep using that if it ain't broke don't fix it so a lot of people watching here are going to be wondering if they can watch your world record is it on your youtube if they go to your youtube right now can they watch it yeah i suggest going to youtube for the high quality recording it's also on speedruns.com but i mean if they want the juicy good quality they go to your youtube right exactly yep so how about this because i know everyone on youtube's lazy but i still love you all why don't we put narfman's info in the description below and you guys can go ahead and check that out right now if you want to click on and watch it what about people wanting to get into mario 3 how should they do it what where do you where are people gonna go sometimes people see my videos and they're like i don't know where to go what do you what am i supposed to do is speedrun.com the best way to start yeah um so so there are a few options. Spearon.com should link you out to our Discord, which have a lot of helpful folks. Um, there are a bunch of guides as well. Mitch Flower Power has a very cool uh, Warpless Seminar that on YouTube. That never finished. <laughs> that he'll definitely go past World whatever, three or four. It'll help you get to World 3, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like six years later, he'll totally finish that up. <laughs> I would recommend folks to join the Discord and keep a lookout on the SMB3 tag in, in Twitch. We'll love to help you out. We're like toxically positive and helpful. Uh, very wholesome community. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we'd love to help you all out and point you in the right place. There are a bunch of tutorials. Whatever your first speed run may be, you don't have to use killer strats or anything. We're just here to celebrate whatever your first run might be and bring it on. Right on. One last thing I want to point out. When you join a new Discord, like let's say Mario 3 that's been around for years and years and years, Mario 3 speedruns also go back to, what, 2002, 2005. If people in the Discord seem short with you, it's only because they've answered that question probably a million times and it's never anything personal. So don't ever think that you're not wanted in these communities. Don't ever think that people are mad at you or anything like that. Some people are short and some people are very descriptive with questions. So Helpfully concise.
There you go. <laughs> With that, thank you very much, Narfman, for really sharing the in-depth perspective of what it is to achieve the goals that you achieved and to keep going. I think that's like the best advice you can give people in life. Just keep going and try and stay positive. Thanks for coming on and, and really talking about it. And yeah, thanks for stealing my world record. That validated everything in my life. Now where am I gonna work? Mm -hmm. Looks my like life. you're gonna have to come back. <laughs> no. I crapped you. Thank but you. thanks for having me, Mitch. Yeah, no problem, man. I, I love I love doing this and, I, and congratulations again, man. Honestly, I know how hard I work in these Mario 3s and anyone who can take down one of my records, like you earned it, man. You definitely earned it. Cherish it, cherish it. Well, cherish thank you, my it. Well, see you later, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really enjoyed my content, do not forget to subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. Thank you all for watching.